New at 11 tonight, a private music teacher in Clovis is charged with committing lewd acts with a child. 54-year-old Christian Zakaria of Fresno was arrested Thursday after police say they were alerted by a child's parent. CBS 47's A.J. Cotto is live at Clovis Police with details. A.J. Catherine, right. That's, uh, I was here earlier today talking to police. Now, they couldn't say much, but they did tell us that the alleged victim is under 14 years old. Now, I also spoke to people who know this man. They say they're shocked and they can't believe he could do something like this. A man is under arrest for what police say happened inside these walls. Well, it was an act against a minor under 14 as a lewd act against a child. Christian Zacharias offers private music lessons. The alleged victim is a student. Police say they were contacted by parents Wednesday night after the student told them about an incident. Zacharias was arrested Thursday. It's very important that we act on it as soon as possible, of course, before we can get an arrest. We like to gather all the facts. No details about the crime are being released. People at neighboring businesses told us off camera they're shocked by the arrest. Meanwhile, a co-worker in the same studio who asked to remain anonymous has doubts about the allegations. I think the whoever that reported him kind of jumped into conclusions too fast. She says he is close with his students and their families. That's his personality. He's just very affectionate to everybody. Like he'll give everyone hugs. You know, once you get to know him, you'll see you'll see why. He's just very warm. She's appropriate behavior. Zacharias lives in this Fresno neighborhood. Uh, it's very alarming because you think you have the tendency to have a some type of familiarity with the people to. The investigation is ongoing and police do not know if there are other victims. And Zacharias' bail is set at $40,000. Police are asking anyone with any information they might have to come forward. Live in Clovis, AJ Cotto, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.